Hello everyone. Let me explain to you kung ano ang audit universe. At the beginning of this video lecture, I want to discuss the audit universe in general terms. Kaya meron ako dito ng open and close parenthesis general. Kasi maraming pwedeng maging subject for audit, no? Anjan yung financial statement audit. Okay, we have your operations audit. We have your compliance audit. Uh, and especially pagdating sa mga internal reporting or for internal audits, madaming pwedeng maging scope dyan. At isa na rin dyan yung ating IT audit. Ano? So, pwedeng external audit yan, pwedeng internal audit. So, marami tayong pwedeng i-categorize at pwede nating ma-introduce dito sa audit na term. So, general muna yung ating explanation dito. Ano? When we are talking of the audit universe, eto yung environment na kung saan anything that falls within that environment may be subject to audit. Pag sinabi kasi natin na audit, eto yung isang proseso na ginagamit or ginagawa ano para tignan kung yung mga proseso, yung mga financials or anything that is within the scope of the audit are following certain guidelines. Or kung hindi man sila nakakasunod doon, bakit? And of course, there is that reporting side ano, sa bandang dulo na kung saan everything has to be reported for proper actions. Because of course, in any reporting, it is used for decision making. Okay, so ganun din po ito. Ano. Dito sa taas, makikita ninyo meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 na magkakaibang kulay ng arrow. Basically, this is the flow of audit. No? from number 1 hanggang number 5 and let me first read it to you ano yung number 1, ano yung 2, 3, 4 and 5 ang pinaka-umpisa dyan ay yung assessing client acceptance and retention decisions that is number 1 pagtanggap or pag-assess kung mayroong ba tayong tatanggapin na kliyente kung nag-alok tayo ng service dito at gusto nila tayo na maging provider tatanggapin ba natin sila considering the possible risks ano, that we may encounter. Kung repeat client natin ito, naging kliyente na natin sila in the past, safe pa ba na ipagpatuloy natin yung engagement sa kanila? So that is the part, ano, the first step. And this is usually applicable kapag external audit. We are a third-party service provider of audits. Kasi kung internal audit yung mga pinag-uusapan natin, wala tayong client acceptance and retention decisions. Kasi, ang external auditors, third party yan. Hindi yan mga empleyado. Samantalang, kung ikaw ay isang internal auditor, you are a company employee. Kaya wala tayong client acceptance. Tanggap ka agad kasi yan yung trabaho mo. Ano? Wala tayong retention decision. So, wala tayong mga checklist that we have to follow, ano, are we independent with the client or with the management wala ba tayong mga financial interest dito or whatsoever at kung ano pa man yung mga kailangan nating i-assess para matanggap natin yung kliyente na yun, ano, to assess the risk that are involved. Kaya nga dito sa visuals makikita ninyo yung internal audit will start dito sa number 2 understanding the client and when we are talking of understanding the client this is understanding the nature of the environment. Ano? So, kahit ikaw ay internal to the company, internal auditor ka, kailangan mo rin i-understand yan. Let's say, ang i-audit mo is the business process. You have to understand. You have to know the business process. Otherwise, papaano ka mag-audit? Papaano mo magagawa yung mga procedures kung hindi mo yan naiintindihan? So, that is critical. No? Understanding the client, that is number two. Ang number three, and number four, eto na yung audit proper kasi ya. Obtaining evidence about the controls, determining the impact on the audit, and then obtaining substantive evidence. Kasi kailangan natin ng mga evidential matter. No? And number five, after we conducted three and four, we have to wrap up the audit and to make reporting decisions. No? Or eto yung ano bang audit opinion? Or ano ba yung result ng audit? It has to be documented through an audit report para makatulong ito sa users of that audit report. No? Kung sa accounting, meron tayong users of the financial information, eh, may mga users din tayo dito for decision making then. Okay? Now, going back sa audit universe, 
ang makikita ninyo dito ay mga audit units or mga audit components. Anything that may be subject to audit. Such that, pag ang pinag-uusapan natin, external audit, ang mga audit components natin or yung mga units subject to audit or audit subject ay yung mga audit clients. Okay, ito yung mga kliyente natin kasi we, we provide a service. So, yung ating audit universe ay binubuo ng iba't ibang mga kliyente natin. But, when we are talking of assurance, when we are talking of audit, hindi lang naman kasi yung audit na financial statement audit yung pinag-uusapan natin. Because, may mga audit related na engagements pa yan. Such as your review engagement, yung compilation engagement, and agreed upon procedures. So, pwede kasi, yan yung tanggapin natin, ano, provided that pwede natin yan i-cater na service at we are following the rules and regulations or the standards for those engagements. Pagdating sa internal audit, okay, anything that is within the company may be an audit unit, such as your business process, yung mga proseso, um, inventory, procurement, sales, okay, um, let's say legal, okay, the legal department, yung ating IT department, yung sales and marketing, okay, procurement to pay, revenue to uh, receivable, no? mga processes. Or it can be the business units or segments. May mga malalaking company kasi, mga conglomerate companies na madami ang mga companies, mga subsidiary companies. No? Tapos pinaka-parent yung, let's say, for, for the case of San Miguel Corporation, marami ang mga sanga-sanga, iba't ibang mga companies. Kung ikaw ay internal auditor, ni San Miguel Corporation, pwede kang ma-assign sa iba't ibang mga business units or mga segments, no? Unless, meron silang mga specific internal audit departments. Although, normally, sa mga kada businesses, sa mga kada segments or units, no? Separate na business organization yan na may sariling internal audit department. So, it really depends sa organizational structure ng company na yan, no? You can also audit a business product. No? Iba't ibang klase ng mga business products. Or sabihin na natin na mayroong bagong revenue stream, may bagong produkto na inintroduce sa market. You can audit it. No? Or, eto, no, systems, programs, and applications. Eto, related sa IT. IT environment, auditing in the CIS environment. You can audit the systems, the programs, the applications, at marami pang iba. Mamaya, i-elaborate ko ito ano, because this is the emphasis of our subject. Business compliance for compliance audit. Sumusunod ba tayo sa mga rules and regulations? Okay, are we complying with certain government agencies? Hindi lang kay SEC, kay BIR. Kung let's say, if you are a banking institution, are you complying with the insurance commission? Okay? Kung ikaw ay related sa yung service mo, yung pinoprovide mo na uh, service, health-related, o oh, may compliance ka ba, or may mga kailangan ka bang sundin, related sa DOH, no? sa Department of Health, may mga kailangan ba tayong sundin dyan? You can also audit the functional structure. Let's say, okay ba yung ating organizational structure? O baka pwede nating revise, baguhin natin ito. Tama ba ito in terms of functions? Okay? or in terms of positions, pwede natin i-audit yung hierarchy or yung organization as a whole. And of course, your financial statements, no? Pwede ka namang mag-audit ng financial statements kahit na hindi ka external audit, no? O kaya minsan, may mga separate na auditors dyan. Minsan, ang tawag natin dyan, mga corporate internal auditors, ang trabaho nila is to assist or to audit independently the company financials para ma-check are we compliant with ano, the financial policies? Kasi usually may mga finance manuals yan na kailangan nating sundin in terms of specific procedures sa accounting department, sa finance department or depende kung anong tawag doon sa department nyo. Okay? So, it can be that subject ano, for audit. Okay? So, marami ano, maraming pwedeng i-audit at it really depends sa structure ng organization at yung nature timing, extent ng inyong audit ay nakadepende sa inyong mga audit uh, planning. Now, in terms of IT audit, okay, yung IT audit universe natin, because 
we are talking of the systems, programs, and applications, ito ang possible na mga audit units, mga components subject to audit. Dito sa kanan, subject sa internal audit na perspective, ano? IT governance. Okay? Operating systems. Yung mga IT manuals. Sumusunod ba? Nasa tama ba? Ano? Are we following the manuals, yung mga policies na kinakailangan nating i-follow? IT infrastructure, mga infrastructure mismo. Data processing. Okay? Mga transaction processing. Even the networks, the database. And kung wala tayong sariling IT department, nag outsource tayo, how do we make sure that wala tayong issue doon? So, we can do audit of the IT outsourcing. Yung mga user access and authorization, pwede yan maging subject to audit. Even the system development, kung may mga kailangan tayong i-develop ng mga systems para hindi tayo mapag-iwanan, we can do it. no? Programs and program changes. If may mga changes doon sa programs, how do we make sure na wala tayong nakukompromise? Even maintenance and oh, backup and recovery. Especially ito, kung halimbawa may mga disaster, no? Disaster management, disaster risk management, no? Para kung sakali magkaroon ng sunog, nasunog lahat ng mga computer equipments natin at may mga critical data tayo doon, may backup ba tayo doon? para ma-recover natin yun at saka makaproceed tayo ng business as usual. And even your privacy and security. Okay? Maraming bagay yan. Maraming pwedeng maging subject. Pag ang pinag-uusapan natin, external audit, usually involve yung information technology pagdating doon sa mga IT general and application controls as part of your assessment, no? risk assessment and procedures na ginagawa, lalong-lalo na kung ang company ano ay highly automated ay maraming mga processes na automated at medyo limited yung involvement manually or exposure sa human intervention so kailangan kasi natin ng reliance magkaroon ng comfort so we have to assess IT dependencies doon kasi kung maasahan naman yun edi walang problema but before that we have to audit that kaya meron tayo mga IT general application uh, IT general and application controls So, those are the assessments on the part of the external audit. Okay? So, ayan po, ano, uh, yun yung aking explanation. General audit universe and then the IT audit universe. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'd be happy to assist you. Sa mga susunod ko naman, i-explain yung ibang mga related topics on this one. But for the meantime, I leave you with this food for thought, ano, and I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye!